Hello and welcome to my booktube video. This is a bookshelf tour of my middle grade books. We'll start off with The School for Good and Evil by Soman Chenani. God, I wish I knew how to pronounce these people's names. We have the sequel, The School for Good and Evil, A World Without Princes. A pretty cool thing. We have The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare, which I haven't read. I haven't read those two. A lot of these are really, I haven't read yet because I've just not too long ago gotten them. Um, the Land of Stories, The Wishing Spell, The Enchantress Returns is book two, which I've read them both. A Grim Warning, the third book I haven't read. I'm going to take a small break for them, from them until the fourth book comes out next year. We have The House of Secrets, which is by Chris, um, Chris Colfer is the author of The Land of Stories. He plays Kurt Hummel on Glee. We have The House of Secrets by Chris Columbus and Ned Vizzini. A much talked about book on, uh, with the booktubers is by Neil Gaiman. It's called The Graveyard Book. By Christopher Holt, we have The Last Dogs, The Vanishing, Dark Waters, Long, the Long Road and Journey's End, which is this, um, I would say a series, but I think there's another word for it since there's only four books. I have the first three books in the Survivors series by Aaron Hunter, The Empty City, A Hidden Enemy, and Darkness Falls. We have The Ice Dogs by Terry Lynn Johnson, and I think that is a very beautiful cover. It's probably one of the main reasons I picked the book, other than I like, I like dogs and cats. <clears throat> Excuse me. Speaking of cats, there is Quinn. She's kind of the namesake for my channel. <laughs> okay. Um... Back to the books, we have the Guardians of Gahul series by Catherine Lasky, and I got these back when I saw the movie in the theater. I had seen the movie first and then read the books. And then, I guess a year or so ago, the author put out a prequel, The Rise of a Legend. We have the Cadaver Cavendish... Home for Boys and Girls, and that is by Claire Legrand. I guess some people have kind of penned this as a middle grade version, kind of, of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, which I, I love that book, so I'm hoping this one kind of maybe lives up to it a little. Um, also by Claire Legrand, we have The Year of Shadows, and this is a really cool cover too. I like the cat. <laughs> By Peter Lurangus, the Seven Wonders series. They have the first two books, Colossus Rises and Lost in Babylon. By Lisa McMahon, I have the first four books in the Unwanted trilogy, and this is supposed to be kind of like Harry Potter meets Hunger Games, so we'll see. On the next shelf by Malie Malloy, we have The Apothecary and The Apprentices. And by Brandon Mall, we have Fable Haven, the first book. We have The Ascendance Trilogy by Jennifer Nielsen. The False Prince, The Runaway King, and The Shadow Throne, which, you know, a lot of the I haven't read. Oops, I'm sorry, Quinn. Um, by Kate O'Hearn, we have Pegasus, book one, The Flame of Olympus, and then book two, Olympus at War. We have, by Rick Riordan, we have the Percy Jackson series. The first book is missing, because I'm trying, unfortunately, unsuccessfully to get my husband to read it, and he's not a big reader. So, the fact that I told him, it's not a big book, but it still lays untouched on his nightstand. <laughs> So we have um, Sea of Monsters, Titan's Curse, The Battle of the Labyrinth, and The Last Olympian. We have The Lost Hero, which is in the Heroes of 
Olympus series, which is a continuation series. The Son of Neptune, The Mark of Athena. The House of Hades, which is missing because I'm currently reading it. We have The Blood of Olympus. This is a special Barnes & Noble edition. Exclusive. Oopsie. Mm. Exclusive Gods vs. Giants. Panorama inside. We have The Blood of Olympus. The Walmart edition. Limited edition poster inside. And Yep. So, moving on to the... Next one here is Rick Riordan's trilogy of The Red Pyramid, The Throne of Fire, The Serpent's Shadow. We also have J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series, the first four books in paperback, and the last three are in hardcover because these ones I bought myself, and these were actually my husband's, so he, he let me include. So I have all the series here. We have The Books of Elsewhere by Jacqueline West. We have The Shadows, Spellbound, The Second Spy, The Strangers, and Still Life. We have by Jacqueline Woodson, Brown Girl Dreaming, which is a memoir. Down below we have the coffee table type books that can't fit on the shelves above. We have The Life and Times of Call the Midwife. By Heidi Thomas. We have the Chronicles. Holy shit, there's a I'm sorry, there's a spider. Oh boy, oh boy. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I think it's gone. Okay. Whew. Sorry about that. Um, The World of Downton Abbey. Uh, behind the scenes at Downton Abbey. We have Glee. William McKinley High School yearbook. Harry Potter Film Wizardry, Harry Potter Page to Screen, Percy Jackson's Greek Gods, and The Twilight Saga, The Complete Film Archive. And this concludes my middle grade bookshelf tour.